So let's put all of this together. So use the graph to analyze the intervals. The domain, these are arrows on here. So it goes on forever. So to the left, it's going to go forever. And to the right, it's going to go up, but it's also going to go out to the right forever. So we would say that that is going to be negative infinity to infinity. And we would say x is an element of that. For the range, y is an element of the interval. It goes, the lowest point that it hits is this negative 2, but then it goes to infinity here. So we would say it's in, from and including negative 2 and up to infinity. All right, so let's talk about where it's increasing. At the very first part of the graph, it's decreasing. But then when we get from here, from this point to this point, it's increasing, and from this point on, it's going to be increasing. So remember, we want to know the x values here. x is an element of, in between these two, would be negative 2, and remember we use parentheses here, to 0, and then union, and that's going to be a positive 2 on over to infinity, so 2 infinity. And decreasing would be the first part of my graph. So it's infinity up to this point. So let's go ahead and write that. Y X is an element of negative infinity to negative 2. And then union. And then it also decreases right here. And that goes from 0 over to 2. So 0, comma 2. Okay, so now let's talk about the zeros. And we didn't talk about zeros before, but now's a good time to talk about them. Zeros are where they cross the x value where the graph crosses the x-axis. So we have three of those. We have one right here, one right here, and one right here. So we would say that x is equal to those three different values. It's equal to negative 3, it looks like and negative 1 and positive 2. Talk about what the, the end behavior. On the left hand side it's up and on the right hand side it's also up. So it's an up up end behavior. One last bit that we're going to do here. Where is a function greater than 0? Now well, it's greater than 0 right here and right all of this, okay? And remember that these are arrows on my, these graphs. Where does it start? It's an x value. x is an element of, it starts at negative infinity and goes to negative 3, where it hits the x-axis. Then it also is above the x-axis. Yes, it is increasing and decreasing all over the place, but we just want to know what values of x make it greater. So it goes from negative 1 all the way to infinity. Now they want to know where it is less than 0. So that would be all of this here. And that's the only part that's less than 0. So we would say x is an element of the interval from negative 3, negative 1. And then we would have to talk about maximums and minimums. Local max, there is one right here. Let's make that red. There's my local max, and I only have one. So it would be at y equal, and that looks like it's about 1.5. And then we have local mins, and that would be this one here, and this one here. There's two valleys. So y would be equal to, it looks like it's down at negative 2, down here at negative 2, and then up here it's at 0. Remember, these are y values. And then finally, it doesn't say it in there, but the absolute max doesn't exist because it goes to infinity on either end. But there is an absolute min, and the absolute min would be y equal this one right here. That's the lowest point that graph gets to, so y equal negative 2.